What is happening guys? Cowboy here and welcome back to the randomizer let's play. So decided I want to take out the path of the dragon once just because I gotta you know I gotta fully sweep everything. Um, so we're gonna run by Andre. I'm pretty sure he sells arrows and we're gonna get some arrows from him and then after we got some arrows we will go take care of the dragon. I mean honestly if I could um, I probably can't survive the fire damage it would do, but I, if I could get it to land near me, I could probably fucking kill it. But, uh, yeah, with my fire defense, not likely to happen right now. Real fast before do that. So let me see. The bow is going to hit for 55. The crossbow is going to hit for 50. And this has scaling and this doesn't. Shot range is a little bit. Oh no, I can't even use the bow. I need another point in the decks. Damn. Looks like we're going to be using... Let's hope he sells bolts too. Yeah, do you sell bolts? Yeah, you do. Standard bolt, heavy bolt. These are 100 souls a pop. These are ten souls a pop. Let's go for the thirty. Go get yourself. All right. Oh wait, do I? Hang on. Weight's over. I guess we're rocking this for now. No, I should just go fucking ninja. Let me go. Where's my ninja? No, that's still not a. That's like the same as Eastern. most defense we can get without going into a full-blown fat roll. Ow! You dick. God, I can't listen to that jingle jangle. Actually, I had other helmets. Let me let me kill these guys before I start messing around with fashion. Right, I think I got a quick fashion break here. Not bad. I mean, this is obviously the fashion we want. No. I'll do Velka, Velka and Eastern for now. It kind of works. Make our way back to the dragon. You gotta love that I find a weapon that's like built for strength. Like you need a buttload of strength to use it. And of course, the Deprived starting weapon is an A-scaling strength, just stick. I don't think the boar spawns, or respawns.
That's right. You go down here, and there's the poison rats. I hated this area. Son of a bitch. Wow, so much. First time I played the game, I got dicked so hard coming right through here. Okay, this is the spot to hit the tail from. Let me go get rid of the poison. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, thanks for the 500 souls. Kill this guy. Nope. I need to. No, how do I aim this bitch? Aiming not part of the game in Dark Souls 1? I feel like you're, you're able to aim. You should be able to aim. Trying to use the mouse for a second. Um. Too much. Maybe I, hang on, let me, let me pull out a bow. Yeah, I can aim with the bow. Can I not aim with the crossbow? Because if so, that kind of sucks for me. Damn, I guess I just can't aim with the crossbow. That blows. I mean, I could just kind of tweak my shot until... I could actually hit it right there. I just gotta wait for it. Damn! That took a while. But Ring of the Sun's Firstborn, hell yeah. That is something I can totally get behind. Dragon is certainly pissed off now. I don't know if I remember, Ring of the Sun's Firstborn, that's miracle boostage. Yeah. So, not incredibly helpful for us, but, uh, yeah, whatever. It helps. It's nice. Um. I wonder if I can outrun his fire. I 
I feel like it's probably a no. But I'm tempted to try. Uh, yeah, no. That's doing about a quarter of my health. I'm not going to be able to pull that off. Alright, instead, let's go down. And we'll go back to, um, hmm. Where do I want to go? Let's go do a little bit of the catacombs. Let's see how Let's go see how successful I could be at catacombs with with my stick. Because I want, I mean, part of this, I want to try and take paths that aren't, you know. Oh my god, if I die here, I would be so salty. Basically, I want to take the road less traveled. I don't just want to go straight to Darkroot Garden, just because that's where you would typically go, because you have no other choice. I think it would be a little bit more fun to, to mix it up and try to go somewhere else. And I mean, you could always go to the catacombs early on. You just probably wouldn't get very far. You usually go down there and, like, grab this Vihander, and that's about it. We got the Drake Tail. We got access to the Hydra. Oh my god, would you guys stop trying to use the bonfire? dick around in the catacombs for a bit. skeletons. Alright, maybe I'm not ready for the catacombs. But the, for real, that was a little bit unlucky. Like, I didn't expect him to just fucking skill parry me and then pop me twice. Hey, we're gonna chalk that one up to luck. And we're gonna go back and beat his ass. Like, with, with damage like that, I can definitely get through this area. No questions asked. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can. Titanite slap. Oh, shit. Catalyst and then two souls. What's the demon's catalyst for? I got some dope shit. I really want to put that on and that on. Um, this is molten rock. Can be used as a fire weapon. The demon fire sage is the first demon and the last master of the original fire arts. It's the rust. What's the damage on this thing look like? Yo! It does more damage than my bitch be good stick? For real? And it's not even upgraded? 
has fire damage built in, that's why. Oh no, it's a staff. But it says it can be used as a fire weapon, so can I like... Can I do that? Can I... Stab people with it? And can it cast fire? And can I put on my Leo ring and get bonus thrust damage to, to poke people with it? Let's test it out. Let's try it on the skeleton. I mean, I guess I could. I could run around with a demon's catalyst poking people like it's a spear. Probably not the most efficient thing, but... It's neat that I can do that. The real question here is... Can be used as a fire weapon. Does that mean I can use it for pyromancies? I want a torch or something before I do this. Necromancer that's somewhere raising all the skeletongers. this fashion. Son of a bitch. He had it in like that parry stance too. Carry that, you douchebag. Now oh, the necromancer's dead. Let me see if I passed over any loot. I don't think I did, but... I want to confirm I didn't. Oh, it doesn't look like it. gonna take a long time. Nope. Not worth it. I'm gonna run over and beat him. Ah, oh, we just got torched. Uh, I mean, I think I could get through this area just based on how hard I'm hitting, but 
I think my health and my stamina probably aren't as high as they could be to get through here. And I forgot to rest at that bonfire, so that's a hell of a run. And there's 10,000 souls on the line. Which isn't much, but... You know, 10,000, 10, that's still fucking 10,000. Still a lot of souls. I really don't like these pants, because it looks like I'm just wearing, like, a fucking, uh... God, what are those stupid-ass shoes? The ones that just have, like, the rubber crocs. It looks like I have a croc on one foot and I'm barefoot on my other foot. And it looks absolutely just... It looks so fucking just goofy. The Chosen Undead. More commonly known for his single croc fighting style. He would perish many enemies as they would laugh at the silliness of his attire. And then, he would murder them in bloody vengeance to teach them about laughing at his single croc. I think I need more. I mean, I need more health. I need more health. But in the very least, I'm gonna get that 9,000 and maybe a couple loots before I leave. Nice. Right, so they're not gonna follow me there. Well, whatever works for me. Right, these necromancers are single spawns. Can't I just... No, that's right. There's spikies. I thought there was like a trick jump you can do here. You know, maybe I could make it through this. Because with the necromancer dead, I'm not having that much trouble. time goes on, things are only going to get... Well, I was going to say things are going to get harder because I'll be attacking slower, but... Oh, fuck me. Please stop touching my bum. I'm going to go back to two-handing. Felt way better killing him like that. Yeah, you gonna parry? You wanna parry? Parry this, bitch.
great sword. I knew there was a reason to continue on down here. Night Helm. Fuck yeah, dude. It's all shiny and new and shit. Don't these things just run at me and explode? I don't think I want to... I think there's more loot in here, too. Maybe not. trying to remember. I don't think there's any, like, shortcut, like, easy shortcut back to, uh, Firelink. I don't recall one, at least. But there's another Necromancer. What are these things? What are you? They're, they're bombs. They're bombs. Dragon scale, no shit, dude. Oh my god, that was so close. Dragon scale to upgrade my giant great sword. I found the actual great sword. Stop that, damn it. No, oh, did I just crash? Either I just crashed or we're hitting like a super bad frame rate dip. Yeah, super bad frame rate dip. Oh god, no. Fuck. I only got one Estus. Yeah, I'm gonna turn around here. Burned through all of my Estus. I, I got a great sword. We got some good shit. We came down here and we got some good shit. We'll leave it at that. I can be happy with the stuff that I got. Excuse me, skeletons. But if I'm going to do more of the catacombs... Well, you know what? If I kindle this bonfire, I could probably get through this area. Let's do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna get through the fucking catacombs. So before that, I'm gonna go to Andre. Um, well, let me see. Let me see what requirements are for Greatsword. Twenty-eight strength, and I'm at twenty-five. Ooh, I'm close. I'm real close to being able to use Greatsword. And it was about seven thousand souls per level. Maybe I should just keep going with my with my bitch be good stick for now. 
At least until my strength's higher. No, wait, I could already use the great sword if I just two hand it. So I'm looking at 130 plus 77, so like 207 compared to. Does it show the 193? Versus 207, two handing this, I get 248. So I would need to go upgrade the greatsword to make it worthwhile. Alright, so we're gonna do the catacombs, but first thing I'm gonna do is upgrade this baby. And we're gonna have to go a hell of a lot lighter on items, too. If I upgrade this thing up to plus plus five, I can probably hit damage close to what I, I can probably hit more than what I was hitting for with my bitch be good stick, but in a wide arc of AOE, and that'll be super nice. So we're gonna go, we're gonna upgrade the great sword, and then we're gonna continue on with the catacombs. Ugh, barely got past that. One. What I'm going to try and do um, to save time here. Because I got enough flasks. If I can make it all the way... Well, actually, Andre's not even that far. If I can make it over to Andre without touching a bonfire, I can just use a, uh, a homeward bone to hop back here. And then that way, uh, tomorrow's episode will be able to, like properly start working our way deep into the catacombs. Which, I mean, it's not so bad a run that I couldn't just redo it, but I'm lazy and I want to save time, so I'll probably use the Homeward Bone. First things first, we gotta upgrade this thing. I just gotta focus strength. I mean, this is definitely turning into a strength playthrough more than anything. Um, and then once we find a pyromancy flame, I'll probably be partially a pyromancy run as well, so like a strength pyro type deal, just based on what we're finding. I mean, we got greatsword, we got the, the dragon greatsword, we got black flame, so it would be really easy to, to work those in. And thankfully, the original Dark Souls, you don't need stats worth of shit to be a pyromancer. Uh, it does make me think I should have been a... Well, I would have been a lot better off playing as a... Um, so it was, let me see, I need what, six, I think. I uh, would have been a lot better off picking a strength build from the start. Stats would have been a little bit more optimized, but what are you going to do, right? It's not like I knew what was going to drop. So a couple wasted stats, but that's okay. Damn, 10,000 souls to upgrade that. Which I do have, but I don't need to upgrade that right now. Um, so now, let's see what we're looking at. 295 compared to our club, which was 248. Okay, I can, I can do that. I can do that. And actually, I think I will just go by the bonfire, because I want to put some points into strength real fast. Um, and see if I can use attuned spells with that catalyst. So uh, we're going to make our way back over there for the next episode. We'll be starting off from the, the bonfire that was over in um, 
in the catacomb. So stay tuned, and we'll catch you guys then.